And hello again, YouTube viewers. Mr. Math here with the next episode of Let's Play Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. And <laughs> for me, it has been a long time since the last episode. For you guys, assuming you're watching this in real time, just one day. But for me, it's been close to a month since the last episode. And the reason for that is I had a huge backlog of recorded episodes that were just sitting on my hard drive, un unedited, unuploaded. You know, they were sitting in the, these are my recordings that I haven't actually done anything with directory. And it was starting to get a little bit unwieldy and overwhelming so I decided that I needed to take a break for a while and work through the backlog and now I've pretty much worked through it <laughs> so it's time to start recording again and so yeah it's been close to a month for me since the last episode and E3 2017 has uh, concluded as of about a week ago and lots of interesting stuff has popped up. Uh, you know, obviously at E3 2017 they talked about the DLC for this game, which I am kind of sort of anticipating. There's a pretty good chance I will not have finished off Ganon before the first DLC pack becomes available. And when that happens, when the first DLC pack pops up, I'm not too sure what I'm going to do, because honestly that kind of extra difficulty just does not interest me. I don't find that kind of hideously difficult gaming to be fun, I find it to be frustrating. So um, yeah, I'm not really anticipating the DLC for this, for Breath of the Wild. If there's anything out of E3 that I am anticipating, it is Assassin's Creed Origins and Super Mario Odyssey. Those are the two games that I'm really anticipating. I suppose I could throw in uh, Metroid Prime 4 because the, the original Metroid Prime is one of my personal top five best games ever. And it's really cool that they're making another game in that same... Um, same uh, vein. Is it going to work? Is it going to work? I don't think it worked. Well, okay, that was really my best guess. Putting a fire on the pedestal right when the heart shaped opening passed over it and it seems to have not worked hmm okay well at this point I'm really kind of wait what I thought the heart-shaped opening passed overhead before hmm okay I guess I was right after all, but it sure looked like the heart-shaped opening passed overhead earlier, and then nothing happened. Uh-oh. That was odd. My mic just kind of toppled right over for absolutely no reason. It's not like it's sitting on a destabilized spot. Um... Okay. All right, I think that'll do it. Well. Okay, so I guess I was correct, but still, it sure looked like the heart-shaped opening passed overhead right at noon. I guess it was like 12.30, though. Well. Whatever. I succeeded, so let's check the place out. In the month 
that I've been just working through my backlog of recordings for this Let's Play. I've been playing the game a whole lot on the Switch. And I've... Uh, I've got uh, several ideas now. I, For one thing, I have fought and defeated Lionels on the Switch version. So I have my strategy for how to do that. We'll see how well it works on the Wii U. I'm anticipating no real trouble at it, but uh, what with the different controller, it might kind of throw me off. We'll have to see. Cannon. Okay. All right, this is pretty clear. I mean, it's obvious what's going to happen. I mean, there's one of those orange balls down there in that chute, and I'm supposed to shoot it off up there. I'm kind of wondering about those platforms, though. They're not moving yet. Are they about to start moving? Yep. Well, that's... Why couldn't I have uh, shot something else up there to knock that obstruction out of the way first? Uh, well, anyway. So now it's just a matter of timing the blast. So close. All right, there we go. So, okay, I see there's another cannon over there. Oh, look at that. I was wondering, is there a treasure chest around here? I didn't even notice this wall. Another falcon bow, huh? I guess that stands to reason considering we're in the Rito area, but I don't really want it to the falcon bow. Because... The bows I'm going to be picking off the corpses of Lionels are so much better. Oh, so... Now the target's also on a moving platform. Okay. Low obstruction in the middle is kind of messing things up at the moment. Ugh. I'm not, I don't have a clear shot. I haven't had a clear shot yet. There we go. I hope this is something really good, like a gold what? rupee. Rather than a weapon or a shield. Yeah, okay, there we go. That's pretty good. And here we go. So now, speaking of weapons and stuff, how many Korok seeds do I got? I've kind of forgotten.
Hmm, I'll have to check on that. Yes, let's uh, get on with it, shall we? Alright. This is really the kind of shrine I like the best. The puzzle shrines that have the relatively short puzzles while s that still have some real you know, depth to them. Okay, let me think here. Oh, there's another uh, shrine here in the uh, western area of the desert. I think it's right, right here. And not only is there a shrine here, there's also another Molduga. But anyway, so how many Korok seeds have I got? 73, okay. I need to trade some of those in. And you know what? I'm I'm dropping this uh, coral leaf. I really don't need that. I'm gonna equip this. All right. And now let's go visit Hestu. Not all Lionel equipment is all that great, but some of it is really, really good. The stuff that you get from the uh, red Lionels, eh, kind of meh. But from the blue and white Lionels, that's, those are good items. So my plan, once I have some more inventory slots, is to go up to Zora Domain and uh, grind for arrows and then after I'm finished grinding for arrows I will be perfectly positioned to go to that uh, Lionel up there on Shatterback Point. I don't think I've ever actually shown you my arrow grinding method. Let's get a few more bows. can be really good as long as you get them from the blue and white Lionels. The red Lionel bows, not all that great. Uh, let's get another bow slot. The slots are getting really expensive. for the next weapon slot. Ooh, 25. Well, yeah. So I probably won't be able to afford another bow or weapon slot, but maybe another shield slot. Let's find out. Okay, yeah. Okay, so two more bow slots and one more each weapon and shield slot. That should do. Lionel shields can also be pretty good. Alright, let me see here. Uh, 
So yeah, I want to go here. <clears throat> yeah, I've never actually shown you <clears throat> my arrow grinding method. Maybe it will be kind of boring, but it's helpful to watch. And anyway, that Lionel up on Shatterback Point seems like a good place to start. So I'll grind for arrows. Probably get the Hinox. The Hinox is while I'm here. And also get the uh, Lionel. Okay, here we are. Up on the Nehru Tower. So. I'm going to start by clearing out a few Lizalfos right in this area here. And then rather than go all the way along the road to get to the next few, I'm going to warp back up to the tower and then fly over here from the tower. But first, before even that, Sheikah Pajamas. Okay, we're all set. And down we go. Okay, there, so there's the first Lizalfos right below me. Trying to blend into the ground. But I see him. Ow. He saw me too. And look at that, he dropped two bundles of five arrows. Um, okay, you are going to pay for that, that's for darn sure. And another bundle of arrows, excellent. So I've shot two arrows so far, but uh, picked up 15, so that's a pretty solid net gain. side trip to get some zap shrooms. Okay, so Zalfos up there. Alright. Where is he? Right there. Okay. And now there's another Lizalfos across the river on the rocks over there. I want him to see me and jump over here. Come get me. Fall down, don't fall down. Excellent. Okay, so that takes care of all the Lizalfos in this early area. Now to find any more Lizalfos, you have to go all the way up here. Way too much work. Instead, I'm going to warp back to the tower and fly on over. By doing it that way, I not only don't have to work quite so hard, but I also run into a Hinox. Well, I can run into a Hinox if I go a little bit out of my way. Fortunately, it's not too far out of the way. 
Now then. Where do I want to go? I want to go right there. Enoch should be on that plateau right ahead, I think. I don't see him. Where is he? Ah, there he is. Now then, the Sheikah pajamas are all fine and well for getting up close to him. But not for causing damage once I'm up there. So. Get more damage from that ancient battle axe, and then consume one of these things. Okay, that didn't last very long. Whoa, I've almost got him down already. Turn around. Okay. Not pretty well. I've never encountered a roasted bird thigh before. Huh. Let's go with the Royal Claymore, but I'll leave that other stuff there. Alright, now that that's taken care of, time to turn back, change back to the Sheikah Pajamas. And... That's a good way up. Right here, I think. Kind of inconvenient that it's raining. make it much more difficult to climb. Now you might remember way back when I first came to Zora's Domain in order to actually you know, do the main quest line, I went cross country and avoided this section of the road. Not because I realized what the danger was going to be, but because I thought it was just too long to walk. It turns out to be a pretty smart move. Because you can see that this particular section is a serious gauntlet with lots of Lazalfos guarding the area. Okay, I missed. Let's get out of view. And I do want to take them all out because they drop arrows, but I'm going to have to spend arrows to do it. Getting up close to them is too risky. They all have those alarm horns that they can sound to let everyone else know that you're there, and they shoot shock arrows at you. Okay, I don't want to be using this sword right now. I want to be using this sword. Now this is where I came cross country the first time. I came through this area and pause down here. And then cross the river by flying over here on the paraglider instead of following the road all the way around because I thought that was going to take way too long. And you know what? At the time I was correct, but now I need to go through this area, 
slaughter all the Lazalfos for their arrows. I mean, look how many arrows I'm getting. I was at 400 some, if I remember correctly. And I'm still at 400 some, but I've gotten like 50 arrows since coming here. And that's after, that's, you know, a net gain after taking into account the arrows I've shot. being really sloppy here. Okay, he's... Oh, darn it. I'm being really sloppy. Ah. That was careless. Take care of this little camp. You know, it's fortunate that these guys are kind of stupid. creep up behind you and stab you in the back with my sword. I was about to say not much in the way of arrows. But at least the blue Lizalfos dropped some. Okay, now that I've gotten sort of out of the way for a little while, these guys have dropped the alert so I can move back in. Okay, this is not a tenable position. That one over there on the other side is kind of parshing my mellow. Take him out first. That was close. I'm being really sloppy this time. Normally I can just 
pick these guys off easily. It's worth the trouble because they generally all drop arrows. And with, if you're really lucky, a very rare drop is shock arrows. That was a competent assassination. Next, that guy right there. Over on this side. that guy next. The one that's kind of framed by the lump of land I'm standing in front of. third one right there. I nearly ran right into his line of sight. Yeah, I'm being really sloppy and careless. here until an opening presents itself. I know the one on the left is looking right in my direction. He just suddenly died, and you got no idea why. Because you can't see me. Alright. That's the last of them. It's definitely worth taking the time to... T to deal with these guys because they drop all these arrows 
and on very rare occasions, as I said, they can even drop shock arrows, but almost never. Ow. That was dumb, running right into that thing. I'm hearing the croaking of another of those alphas. I shouldn't be. I just took them all out. Hmm. Well, no matter. Now, there was an arrow I shot at. There it is. Okay. Yep, you want to retrieve all your loose arrows. Because, you know, it doesn't help at all when you waste arrows. Still, I'm, that was kind of embarrassing. Because normally I do a much smoother job of that particular area. Daruk's protection pops in when you focus on a monster like that. It should be a separate <laughs> button press. I should be able to lock onto a monster without activating Daruk's revenge like that. Even though I spent a fair number of arrows, I'm over 500 arrows now. Okay, now this part can get a little bit tricky. Because there's a very powerful Lizalfos right down there, you see? Three Lizalfos, two standard Lizalfos, but one silver. <laughs> Sometimes this works. Not very often, though. Oh. Okay, that definitely did not work. It blew up way too early. Don't see me. Okay, good. Get a bit of high ground, and now... the two small guys, which can make this one much easier. As long as he doesn't fall in the river, that would make it really annoying. And good, I didn't send him into the water. Did drop some arrows. 
Although normally the silver guys drop some gems too. Alright, that's the hardest part of this. Is dealing with those three Lizalfos. And there are a few options for how you can do that. You can snipe the green ones from a distance and then move in. Or you can just go in with a really strong weapon and sort of kill them as an after effect of taking out the... of attacking the uh, more powerful ones. It's also a good place to pick up roasted bass. <laughs> You know, if you're kind of short on healing items. And we're here at the Orin Bridge, and it started raining again. Fantastic. Uh, that's going to make this a bit more difficult. Thanks to not being able to climb very well while it's raining. Darner. Oh well. Yeah, I'm not happy about the rain, but I will muddle through. Emphasis on muddle. And really, there's only one last spot. Although it's a bit of a doozy. There's a total of seven Lazalfos in this small area. And the first one is right up here. Come on, get up. There we go. Okay. Alright, I'm up to 537 arrows. That's pretty good. And now, i got to climb this cliff here. Come on, Link, you can make it. No, you can't. Yeah, these Sheikah pajamas really make this easier. Purchasing them and upgrading them was one of the smarter things I did. Okay. Note, by the way, Royal Claymore. So you can get a free one here if you need it. Okay. So I needed those out of the way so that I could get these and drop them like grenades. to get that blue guy right there, but I missed him. Shoot. 
Oh well. I'll get him with the next one. leaves that guy over there. Okay. So that takes care of all the Lazalfos on this side of Zora's domain. Now I want to go up the other side in the general direction of the Lionel because there are lots more Lizalfos up there so you know, no point to be down here anymore no more Lizalfos just a few moblins left so let's go back here and from Zor's domain from the city from Zor City, you know, whatever it's called, from there we will climb up into the area where, uh, you know, we'll climb up to the area where there's the lake that hides the Zora Helm. We go up to that lake and then head kind of westerly from there and slaughter a whole bunch more Lizalfas. Now that's that right there is the waterfall I would climb if I was going straight to the Lionel. But I'm not going straight there. Fortunately, it's not too far out of the way. You know, I haven't really been putting a lot of thought into this, but this is kind of like a gauntlet with an end boss. Lots of Lizalfos, a Moblin or two, and then the Lionel. So let's see, what's my arrow count? Oh, 579, so I am well over 100 arrows. My net gain is well over 100 at this point. Zora Helm lays hidden. Only well, I've already got it, so it's not there anymore. Alright, so now that we're up here, time to switch back to the Sheikah pajamas and skulk around taking out Los Alpos. There should be one right up there. Yep, there he is, just a bit to the left. You might think that he'd spot me, considering that I'm not exactly being stealthy at the moment, but with the 
peak of gear, I was able to run right around him and up behind him. And there's my next target right up there. Okay, where is it? There he is. Guy. Okay, there's a moblin down there. I'm going to ignore him. And there's the next one right there. Let's come in from the sky. Oh, there's another one over there. This could get a little bit tight. Two bundles of arrows. Excellent. dinner. And now, up here, to position myself for those two Lizalfos that we saw right there. Aha, there they are. So... And my claymore is pretty badly damaged. Ah, good, but I did pick up the other one, so no problem. do I have right now, now that I think of it. Hmm. Okay, if my royal clan... So there's the uh, blue Lizalfos next to a moblin there. I'm going to take out the moblin first because he's really tough. And if my claymore breaks on him, so be it. I still... I have plenty of weapons to deal with his friend there. Now we're not quite finished up here. There are two more Lizalfas. Actually there's three, but the third one is pretty far out of the way. And I usually do go get them while I'm grinding up here like this, but this time, nah. That'd just be kind of boring. I want to get to the Lionel fight to show it off to you guys. Now since I haven't actually played the Wii U version for a while, and I haven't been up here to see the Lionel since even longer back when I was still playing and recording for you guys, there's one of the next, there's one of the remaining two Los Alphos. Anyway, I don't know what type of Lionel this is going to be. When I first came here, it was just one of the red main Lionels, which are the most basic type. But he might have advanced up to the blue main by now. Thanks. 
Anyway, what was I saying? He might have advanced up to the blue main by now. Which I would actually prefer. You know, strictly for myself, I would like to show you guys a fight against a red main Lionel. But the blue main Lionels drop much better stuff. And how am I going to take this guy out? Uh, I need a stronger weapon. Let's use the Royal Claymore. You know, for the sneak strike, what really matters is attack power. You want as much attack power as possible concentrated into a single blow. Okay. Now this Lizalfos is actually kind of tricky to sneak up on. But it doesn't matter. Because if he sees you, the first thing he'll do is start blowing on his alert horn, but there's no one left for him to alert. So, sucks to be him. So I'm going to try to sneak up on him anyway. But if I fail, no big deal. I think I did actually fail. <laughs> he saw me at the very last moment, but they only have 50 HP and this Royal Claymore has 52 attack power, so it one-shotted him anyway. Alright. So, yep, wrong uh, button. Okay, I'm up to 624 arrows, which is pretty close to a net gain of 200. I think it's not quite 200, it's like 180, but still that's a pretty good haul. So that is my method of grinding arrows. And it might have been kind of tedious for you guys to watch, but I've pretty much gotten it down to a science at this point. So uh, at least for me, doing this is just, I just rush on through, bam, 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 I'm done. Let's get this lizard here. I wonder, do I still need high tail lizards? You know what I really am going to need? Where are they? Um, what I'm really going to need are these swift violets. Because when you go up to four star, there's something that needs like 15 swift violets per item. I don't remember what it is, but I'm going to need something like, I don't know, 30 or 40 Swift Violets. And I only have 10. Alright, so... I want to be careful. I still want to try to ambush him if I can. Okay, there he is. Lionels have a really wide line of sight, but I should be pretty much behind him at this point. Okay, so now I'm going to go up here and wait for my chance to swoop down on him. So it looks like he is still a red name. I can't tell from here. Yeah, definitely still a red main line. Okay. This is going to be a fairly easy fight. <laughs> 
Those of you who've been following along this Let's Play might be kind of surprised to hear me say that, because I've been shying away from the Lionel fights for like 50 episodes now. I've been saying all that time that I really should go fight one, and I just haven't been doing it. And now all of a sudden here I am sounding all tough guy and, oh, this is going to be easy. Okay. So he's coming this way. And I don't want to have the camera on. I want to I want to have stasis. There we go. When you've upgraded stasis at the uh, Hateno Ancient Tech Lab, it becomes really, really handy. It's a weapon that you should not forget you have. Being able to snap enemies into place for a little while. Okay. Turn. Yes, all right. Okay, and now let's get some attack power boost. All right, that should do it. Stunned him. Ah, this is not going very well. Sloppy. Ah. Okay, Lionel Horn. I need those. Shock arrows. And a Lionel Bow. Okay, let's not be too enthusiastic about this, Link. We need to take pictures here, because we're tourists. You forget that, Link, but we are tourists. Kind of, this stuff looks kind of awesome, but it's not all that great. At least compared to stuff for other Lionels. Still, 30 defense power. And the ability to cause damage when you do the shield bash. 
And only 24 defense power. Uh, only 24 attack power. Not all that great. Still, I'll take it. Now, what I was trying to do was stun him. Because when you, uh... When, I, when you get a headshot on a Lionel and stun him for a... for a few moments, you can actually get on their backs like a regular horse and you can't tame them or ride them but you can hit them from the back and it does more damage because they don't have armor on their backs or something like that. I'm not entirely clear why that works but it does. And are there any more shock arrows that I missed before? Eh, it doesn't look like it. Okay, well, there was Lionel fight number one, and it didn't go as smoothly as I'd hoped, but it went, and now I've shown you that I can do it, at the very least. Let me see, how am I doing for, uh, bonus heart items? Not all that great, actually. I only have three of the big ones left, and two small ones. I need to make some more. I'm low on hardy durians, though. How about attack power-up items? Eh, getting a little low on those as well. Hmm, I wonder. Well, I have enough that I can do one or two more of these. Let's see, where do I want to go? Um, yeah, I want to go here, because there should be another Lionel right here. And yet another one right here. And hopefully they're still the blue main Lionels. They start out as blue main Lionels. But I think they might become white main Lionels. When enough time passes and or you get powerful enough. And I really don't want to fight a white main Lionel. At least not yet. I want to fight a blue main first. Just to show it to you guys. right below me, but I don't know what kind of Lionel it is because it hasn't popped in yet. Yeah, that's one thing about this game that kind of irks me, how close the pop-in is. Well, if it's a white main Lionel, I can teleport away. Come on, where is it? Oh, it's around. I know it's here. Ah, there it is. Is that white me? Ah, it is. Terrific. Okay. Hmm. I want to find a blue main Lionel, but I'm not sure where I would find one. Maybe down in the Farron region. Or maybe the one a bit to the north here will still be a blue main. Oh, 
Oh, that's... I was thinking that really rough growling sound. What was? What is that? And I guess it must be the flies on all of that burned and rotted food. Looks like a swift file. I was just telling you guys how I need swift violets. That is a swift violet, all right. Might as well pick it up while I'm here. Okay, now where's the Lionel? Seriously, where's the Lionel? I know there is another one here. I know for a fact. I fought it on the Switch version. There it is, and it's another white man. Oh, great. Okay, so these two have upgraded. They used to be blues, but now they're whites. And it sees me. Okay. Hmm. Maybe up here in the Akala area. I think there's a couple of them up here. Now, if I don't find a blue Lionel pretty soon, I'm going to have to give up and call it quits in this episode. Or heck, maybe I should just fight a white-maned Lionel and be done with it. They're really tough. But I have fought them and beaten them before. Okay, so the Lionel's in this area, there's two of them, and they're both over this way. I think they're both over this way. Well, I know for a fact that one of them is over this way. He's near this pair of really big rocks that have been thrusted up out of the ground. He's just on the other side of it. And there's also a Koro thing up there. You can see it from the angle that I'm coming in. So I'll get that while I'm here. General. Yep, there's Dinroll. And this is a white line also. Fantastic. Ugh. Aren't there any blue lionels left? Hmm... I wonder... What to do now? I'm 
Well, I suppose there's really only one thing for it. Go down there and try to kill it. Of course, you saw how well that worked against the uh, red maned Lionel. But. I've done it before. I can do it again. that life meter. I mean, my goodness. Ow. Oh my goodness. It's ridiculous. Ah! goodness sake Find me the tree, Link! Ah!
This is really getting on my nerves. It's taken so long that my uh, attack power boost is worn off. Okay. Fire arrows from this guy. Is he going away or coming down here? You know, another thing I need to do, of course, is get some pieces of Dinral's horn. Right here are the good line of bows. And look at that, 32 times 3. Well, that was pretty much an unmitigated disaster. So what I'm going to do, and I'll probably do this between episodes, I'm going back to the Farron region and I'm going to farm for some hardy durians and mighty bananas in order to make more um, bonus heart and bonus attack power foods. And then next time, I don't know, maybe more Lionel fighting. But, uh, yeah, something like that.
I'll do some boring grinding off camera and then uh, I suppose fight some more Lynels and hopefully not screw up quite as badly as I did this time. So I'll see you next time viewers in Let's Play Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Later.